gets up, it's big blue, the biggest. And I'm showing you today how I use 3D Slice X to chop up samples and like flip them and all that. So yeah, this is what the original sample sounds like. Yeah, that's pretty much it. It was originally at 130, but I sped it up to 145. And this start is from my boy Off and Out. And so what I did is I just got the first like 17 bars, or so, yeah, 17 bars, and then bounce it into a, a waveform just like this. And then what you do to get into 3D Slicer, double click it, and then go open a new 3D Slicer channel. And then this should come up. And what I do is I turn up the attack, decay a bit, and then I go to this like slice tool or whatever and then go down to beat and after that you can mess around with the pitch and the time stretch if you want I just usually change the pitch and sometimes move this up or down depending on how it sounds so after all that you should see something like this on the playlist and this is just what it sounds like it's just the original sample just like chopped up and stuff but what I do is I go back into here I click this one and then I go uh, random and after random will give you something like this just like all over the place and what I do is after I like I just click random and I just find parts that I like <laughs> So I just go throughout the whole sample and say, say for example, I like this part. So I just like control X, delete everything else. Leave this. And then duplicate a bunch of times, maybe change some things up. And then if you like your pattern, but you want to do more, you can always just clone it and then do the exact same thing and then do random. And then you've got another pattern and then you can listen to this one, find a bunch of other stuff. And yeah, that's what I do. And for the original sample, this is the pattern I came up with. So that was it, except in the final sample, I got rid of the second half because I don't know, I didn't really like it. And I think for this one, I pitched it down. Yeah, I pitched it down three semitones. I didn't mess with the, the time stretch or anything. And the only effect I added to this was this, the extreme feedback preset from Portal. And after that, after I got it, I bounced it out into the final waveform. And then I left the pitch, I left the pitch the same, except I added these effects, uh, J37, the, I think it's, it's one of these, one of these presets, just like to make it sound like more vintage slash retro, uh, sidechain, just make a sidechain and I turned it the wet down a bit. And then midside matrix to make it sound more mono instead of less wide. And uh, EQ just to take out the lows and stuff and so that's what i did and instead for the second half instead of it just being eight bars i just duplicated the the first half and pitched it down a whole octave and so yeah that's the final sample if you like the video like comment subscribe and yeah peace